Hey Mike, it's Buck again. Um, you were asking me about um, shoulder plane and wrist to arm angles. So I was just going to give you a couple of examples of that. So if you look at the box that I drew, which is from the chin to the right hip socket, if you watch the best players in the world, their arms actually always stay inside the box. My gut tells me from a down the line view that your arms are behind you. Uh, again, that's Kelly Gibson on the right. If you look at his shoulder plane when he goes back, you can see that his left shoulder stays pretty low um, when it's going back. And his wrist and arm plane goes more straight back, up plane. Same thing with Adam Scott here. You're going to see that his left shoulder works low. Wrist and arm or right elbow angle move inside the box. Again, my gut tells me that your arm plane is narrow and inside, which would make your right elbow behind the box. Why that's important is your arms have to work uh, down and in front of you. Adam's more of a push drawer, so if you look at the hub, his hand plane is on the elbow plane. Uh, that red line kind of shows you the difference in the two elbow planes that are dressed. <clears throat> Adam's a little bit uh, stronger left hand, neutral right. Kelly's both neutral, so you can see that uh, Adam's right elbow is below left. Uh, Kelly's right elbow is above right, which tells you that his grip positions are slightly different. Um, so the red signifies elbow plane. So Adam works straight back, up plane, so you can see his wrist angles. Kelly does pretty much the same thing, up plane, uh, inside the box, same position. Your arm plane is going to be narrower and more around than behind you. If you look at their spine angles, the difference is that Adam keeps his spine angle the same, uh, which is pretty common, but some of the ground force guys actually work steeper. Kelly actually works slightly down and forward uh, with the spine angle. Uh, but the shoulder plane um, is important to arm plane. So if you watch Kelly's left shoulder, let's go back to Adam just for a second. The left shoulder works into the chin instead of under the chin. So again, you'll see shoulder plane very similar. Uh, wrist angles, elbow angles up inside the box. Adam's a push drawer, so he's going to drop the club a little bit more down and in front of him. His arms are going to work faster than his hips. So the hub is actually more under. Kelly's going to be, he's kind of a straight to straight push fader. So you can see the club's a little bit more out in front of him here, coming down. Adam's more from the inside. Adam's more of a trap drawer. Uh, Kelly, Kelly's more of a trap fader. Uh, so you see the difference in the release points there. But if you look at their impact position, very similar. Hand plane is low inside. Club head stays outside on both. Kelly's a really much more of a releaser of the face through impact, like couples, which tells me that he's kind of a block fader. Adam's more of a trap drawer, so his butt's going to come out more square, which is kind of counterintuitive to a lot of different players, but uh, there's wrist to arm angles. If you want to see um, the other thing that we were talking about, hold on one second here. I'm going to put up Louie by himself. Watch the first move in the takeaway. Watch how he loads his right side. So the first move back is the loading of the right side. If anybody tells you that you don't load to the right, fire them, because they all do. And once they get to here, you're going to see mostly rotary. You watch his head, upper spine stays the same. You watch the ground forces here, the separation created early and now he's going to push up with his legs and the spine with the driver particularly bends back uh, to track the whip which creates more speed. I don't care what I could care less whether your weight's going toward, towards your heels or your toes. Um, that's been a question that's been on a lot of blogs and I don't really pay much attention to that. Most of the longer drive guys go a little bit more toward their toes and the more rotary guys go more toward the heels. Um, so uh, 
pretty common in both systems. Let's go to um, old school, uh, Sam Sneed. So he is definitely inside, around, and then up. Drops it in the slot, which is right on, tucked in underneath. And then if you watch his legs, he's a, he's a push thrower for sure. Uh, as you know, he hits it pretty hard. Uh, I'm going to show you a swing back when he was younger. Uh, typical old style swing. They actually took the club a little bit more around and loaded their right hip up and back. So you can see the right knee would almost straighten. I don't think uh, John Daly had much on Sam Snead here. But if you watch the change of direction, if you watch his right arm, it works down and in front. And watch watch his hips. He's pushing up. So to do that, you'd have to be a little bit more neutral in your spine to move down, recenter, and then push up. A lot of the players today, like Rory and Jason and some of those guys, do uh, similar motions from a speed standpoint. I'm trying to find Rory here. There it is. Um, Rory's a both loader and rotary. He shifts to the right. He loads. His spine actually moves down from his leg drop or the droop or the sit, whatever you want to call it, and he pushes up. So you can see it in his arm. Here's Rory from a different angle. Same thing. You'll see him load right. You watch his right leg. Going to shift into his right side. That's right off the bat. But his head, if you watch it carefully, he actually side bends forward, which will make him go down. So I don't think you really recenter correctly because you move up and back. They move away with their hips and spine stays neutral and move down. So now he's going to sit back to the left or recenter. Squat. So watch the change of direction of his belt. Up and back. Crack it. So set up like an athlete, load like an athlete, sit, push, and throw. Uh, something that we've talked about in the past. So uh, hope you get these. Uh, take care. I'm going to bed. I'll see you tomorrow.